Hello everyone! Today we're going to be making things sticky, bouncy, and slippery in Unity without using any code. Let's dive in. So I have this Unity game that I'm calling Cube Slime. I've got a slime, it moves by jumping around and rotating. And right now my slime has a problem. I can rotate pretty easily, but I have a real hard time moving on the surface. My slime can't move because there's too much friction between the cube and the ground. How do we fix this? Well, we'd need to use what's called a physics material. A physics material is kind of like a material that you would put on a game object to give it a color. But instead of giving it a color, it gives it a texture. A texture that the physics system in Unity can use to apply friction and bounciness. So how do we make a physics material? The first step is you need to go to the project folder and then right click inside this window here. Go to the create menu and then from here go and find physics material. It's going to be sort of in the middle bottom of the list. This will create something that looks kind of green like this. We're going to name this, uh, let's do slippery. There we go, slippery. Now the default values it has here are 0.6 for dynamic friction and 0.6 for static friction. Dynamic friction is the amount of friction that you'll encounter while you're moving across a surface. If you're sliding across the ground or on a carpet, that's dynamic friction that you feel while you're sliding. Static friction is the amount of friction you have on an object when it starts moving. So when you first start sliding along a carpet, that's static friction that you're overcoming to move. We need to make a slippery surface. One thing to note is that these values are supposed to go from zero to one. So if I want this to be slippery, I'm gonna zero this out. And then I'm gonna apply this slippery physics material to this red ground area, because this is my swamp in my cube slime game. You can apply a physics material to any collider. So in this case, I have a box collider on my ground game object. So I'm gonna go over here and drag Slippery into this box right here. I should be able to move around fine. Now I don't have any friction to overcome while I'm dragging along the ground. And now instantly I have a really interesting gameplay mechanic. I have some areas where I can slide and then some areas where I have to hop. Now what about this area here? What do we have planned for this? Well. The other thing you can do with physics materials besides control how slippery something is, is you can control how bouncy something is. I want to make this sort of like a lily pad, something that I can bounce off of as a slime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to right click create physics material and then I'm going to name this bounce. I'm going to change the dynamic friction and static friction to be zero again, just to sort of make it so you can't really get stuck on the pad. And then I'm gonna change the bounciness to one. This is maximum bounciness. Go ahead and drag this into the box collider. There we go, let's try it out. This is our regular bounciness here. Not very bouncy. And then here, I bounce and I come to a stop. Boom, 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 there we go. You can see the difference pretty easily here. Now if you want to make something as bouncy as possible, there is actually a way of doing that. The way to do it is make a physics material and then set the bounce combine to maximum. This will give it the maximum amount of bounce. So here we can see this is our regular bounce. We go up, bounce, bounce, bounce. But if we go over here, but if we jump on our second pad that has the bouncier material, we hop and when we bounce, You'll notice that we go all the way up to our previous height. We don't actually lose any of our momentum when we bounce using the maximum bounce combine here. So, want a little bit of bounce? Leave it as average. Want a lot of bounce? Do maximum. Just like with bounciness, we can really get the most out of our friction by setting friction combine to maximum as well. Here I've made a tar pit in my project. It has maximum dynamic friction, maximum static friction, and the maximum friction combination that we can use. So here, if I uh, test it on my regular ground, I can still slide off of it if I have some momentum. If I try jumping on this surface, 
It's sticky. I can't move at all. I hope this helps you find interesting uses for physics materials in your Unity projects. You can find uses for physics materials all over the place. If you're making a game that uses physics a lot, like maybe a Plinko game, pinball, a maze game with a marble, anything that uses physics to move, having different materials that the character can move across can really add some extra dimensions to your game. Let's see what you can build in Unity. Yeah.